Hey guys, happy Friday. It's time for the inspiration of the day. And today's inspiration is going to come from Galatians chapter 6 verses 1 through 5. And I'm going to be reading from the God's Word translation. I want you guys to pay total attention to this because I am paying total attention to this because there is nothing in here I want to be guilty of. So listen and follow me. It says, brothers and sisters, if a person gets trapped by wrongdoing or sin, those of you who are spiritual should help that person turn away from doing wrong. Do it in a gentle way. At the same time, watch yourself so that you also are not tempted. Help carry each other's burdens. In this way, you will be following the will of Christ's teaching. So if any one of you thinks you're important when you're not, when you're really not, not just not, when you're really not, <laughs> it says you're only fooling yourself. It goes on to say each of you must examine your own actions when you can be proud of your own, then you can be proud of your own accomplishments without comparing yourselves to others. Assume your own responsibility. Wow, look at that. There's so much in here. So as Christians, it really becomes our responsibility as Christ followers, one, to help bring others along. There seems to be this wonderful thing that's happening in the churches right now where we're not actually saving souls who are lost. We're kind of recruiting those who are saved and we're bringing them in and acting like, look, this is growing our body, our fold. But unless you're growing the fold by helping people who are lost in sin like Jesus did, what are you doing? You're just preaching to the choir. So it's talking about, hey, you know, let's reach out to those who are lost in sin. Let's reach out to those who have the same sin that we do or suffer from or have a different one. But at the same time, he's also warning us not to get lost yourselves. Don't get trapped up in this whole situation because it's easy to think that you're saving somebody else and you might be saving somebody else. But can you also be casting yourself into a situation of despair and of sin? Because see, pride can become that sin that you are now caught in because it also goes on and says hey if you think that you're important when you're really not you're actually just fooling yourself so never think that you're so saved so sanctified so holy and that you have no sins to overcome we all have a sin to overcome we all are fighting and fighting daily the 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 the, the strongholds of sin when we're talking about people and using this thing I hear to talk against people, when we're not loving in our heart, when we're judgmental and we're condemning and we're never being gentle, guess what? We're sinning. So that's something that we want to be mindful of, right? But we also want to be like Christ and what Christ did. I don't think anybody could post down here in the comments who Christ didn't accept, who he didn't receive, who he didn't approach. If he approached the leper and he hugged them and he let them feel like made them feel known, that's what we're supposed to do. Not that we have an outraging case of leprosy going on around here, but that means we're supposed to touch those that most people wouldn't want to touch. That might be the homeless in your community. That might be the person begging. That might be just whoever, the old person, the sick person, you know, we need to be able to reach out and touch those people because that's what Christ did. And then it also goes on to say that, you know, um, we have to actually carry our burdens or help our brothers and sisters carry their burdens. In this case, burdens is the heavy loads, the things that they can't do by themselves. So we're having, we're walking with them, but we're all supposed to take care of our own things, the small things, the small, the things that we can handle. And we're to bring them to Christ and we're supposed to just, to just accomplish those things. So that way is when we overcome our own personal struggles, not the big things, but the smaller things. You know, when we get our own house in order, then we can be excited that we've gotten our house in order and that Christ is actually able to use us. So that means we have to be responsible for ourselves. 
You know, I am responsible for Angie's actions, nobody else. Nobody else is causing Angie to do wrong, say wrong things, be wrong, not be loving, not be caring. That's Angie. And Angie has to take all of her situations to the Lord. You guys have a great weekend. I will see you um, early next week. And we will be back in Esther. Just a quick briefing. So you guys have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Continue to like and share um, with others from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You guys are so awesome. And I so appreciate you all. You guys be blessed. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.